Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a train, monorail, whatever you'd like to call it. It's a fast form of transportation that's going to take you from one biome to another. I would recommend that you start at a high spot on the map, preferably the higher the better. There are several options that you can use to build this. I think this one is the easiest. You start off by selecting any thin floor. The measurements that I used were 12 times 2 times 1. I also used a higher rarity in wood so that it would be a bit more durable just in case something would break. Start by building one straight line from one biome to another and make sure that you use snap mode in order to make your life a whole lot easier because that way you don't have to manually adjust everything. Once you finish your bridge, place down two dynamic foundations but make sure that they don't touch each other and align them with the center of the bridge. The reason why you have two is because one is going to be used to go forward and the other one is going to be used to go backwards. I'm pretty sure there's a way to build both forward and backwards on one platform. I've tried some of them but every single time my platform would either blow up or one of the parts would just fly away so I wouldn't overcomplicate things. Basically all you need is wood foundation too. You can make this as fancy as you want but you want to have one block on which you can put three large thrusters and then I just put a fence for aesthetics. You also need to put an activation switch on each of the platforms. So before you try to test this out make sure that you go to the bottom of your structure and then place a couple of small wheels underneath the dynamic platform. This is going to make sure that your platform actually stays on the bridge and it's not going to fall off. In one of my my previous attempts I forgot this and the results were not very pretty. I would also recommend keeping it at three large thrusters because if you place more you will need to make sure that the front side of your dynamic platform is in balance because otherwise there's going to be too much force from the back side and your platform is going to fall off again. I'm still doing a bit of experimenting with a monorail that can actually make turns but that is proving to be a lot more difficult than I expected. Anyway you can build as many of these as you want and I would start at your main village so that you can quickly go to areas that you often visit. I hope that this helps you.